Welcome to Worldwide Business. I'm Kathy Ireland. Year after year, renewable energy continues to grow at a rapid pace and become more competitive with conventional fossil fuel generation. Although space to develop this energy is at a premium, such as forests and farms, swapping green space for green energy may not be the ideal solution. ISM Solar Solutions has partnered with Watershed Geo to instead develop solar energy systems on top of their closed landfill sites, providing an alternative solution. Greg Lucini, CEO of ISM Solar, and Mike Ayers, CEO of Watershed Geo, are here to fill us in. Welcome to you both. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Greg, why is it not ideal to take a green space and repurpose it for green energy? Well, Kathy, as you mentioned, solar is growing very rapidly in the United States and around the world. Sure. And every time a solar array is built, we're talking utility scale. Mm -hmm. So that means thousands, if not tens of thousands of solar panels covering many, many acres. Every time one of those are built, it's being built on land that will be forever destroyed. That land will no longer have natural habitats. The animals that live there, the plants, the vegetation, the water management is forever changed. And with the amount of development that's taking place, there has to be a better way to do it, or it's really not sustainable the way we would like it to be so it can grow and achieve its full potential. So Mike, how is your company helping communities and site owners turn these liabilities into revenue generating assets? Well, the first thing you need to do, which is most important of all the different elements of developing a solar array, is start with the liabilities. Without correcting those liabilities, environmental liabilities, financial liabilities, this production that you can get of energy is not really worth it. So we focus our company on a product called Closure Turf. Closure Turf is a patented system that helps reduce the liquids that get into a landfill, right. control the gas that comes out of a landfill, and one of the most important things that this product does is produce an environment that's very clean and stable for solar. Perfect platform for some reuse of land that would no otherwise have no beneficial reuse. The traditional methods require more soil that some people may be familiar with. Mm -hmm. You're having to destroy more land just to cover a landfill. Right. So that is taken out of the equation too with our product. Do you have any competition? Not at the moment, we're a patented system. Uh, we have a lot of applications filed around the world. At the end of the day, we know we have to be competitive. Right. The environment sounds like a great thing. Beneficial use with solar as a production is important. But if you don't start being economically competitive with right. other features, even though they're traditional and they have their issues, you start there. So we worked hard to create a system and have a pretty strong market to educate the users, whether it's a community, a county landfill, a private company, to use our system and still be competitive, but get all the environmental benefits to go with that. And what exactly is Closure Turf? Well, yeah, I'll go into more detail on that. That's kind of the foundation of the system where Greg and I got involved. Okay. And we vetted out a lot of companies, looked at a lot of people that had experience, and they had some of the environmental business as well. So it was a good fit. Mm -hmm. The critical part of bringing Greg's technology into what we do, of Closure Turf, is a system that the integrity is, is utmost importance. And it starts with a, a membrane, a very high strength uh, specialized polymer membrane that can withstand the gases and the chemicals that it might get exposed to in a landfill, as you can imagine. And then it's covered with a turf. It looks like a sports turf, like you'd see any artificial sports field, but it also has a special polymer. So it has an engineering function. It looks aesthetically pleasing. They get more and more realistic of a type of a grass, but its purpose is really more technical, more engineering in nature. It protects that membrane, which is doing all the work. Keep right. the gases out, keep the water from going in, protects the environment. But that turf is an extra layer of skin. Just basically, if you can think of it like that, on top sure. of the, the membrane, protects it from UV degradation. Wow. The turf itself, specialized engineered product to last 150 years. The membrane- the, the, This will last 150 years? That is correct. We've had many independent research reports that show that the turf, through modeling and through UV degradation research, right. The turf component itself will last 150 years, the membrane more than 400 years, wow. mainly because it's given that extra level of protection. So it can do its work longer, and that projects in very long periods of time without the communities having to deal with that cost, that burden of covering the landfill again. And does it eliminate the odor and all of that that 
comes from these landfills? Yeah, that's a great question. One of the advantages of our system, because we don't rely on bringing in large amounts of soil to cover it. If you've seen or familiar with a typical landfill, you push the soil, you vegetate it. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive, very costly to do. It takes a lot of heavy equipment to do that. Ours is more or less intense. You roll it out, you weld it, small crew. So what you can do is install it in increments. So if you have five or 10 acres ready to cover, mm -hmm. you can control those gases sooner right. versus waiting 50, 60 acres to where you have the economies of scale mm -hmm. to cover it with soil. Sure. So yeah, it gets control of odor gas more rapidly, which also reduces the infiltration of rainwater into the site more soon. So that's one of the bigger advantages of the product. Well, let's take a closer look at ISM Solar in this Worldwide Business Field Report. Renewable energy, particularly solar photovoltaics, continues to grow rapidly year over year and has become more competitive with conventional fossil fuel generation. However, swapping green space, like forests and farms, for green energy is not the ideal solution. Solar Turf is an all-in-one system that reclaims environmentally degraded land for zero-impact clean energy production by mounting ballasted solar arrays on top of Closure Turf, the industry's leading capping technology. Closure Turf provides a robust permanent closure and requires near-zero maintenance. It's a superior alternative to a conventional soil or vegetative closure. This is valued by clients like Patrick Matthews of Crazy Horse Landfill. Welcome to the Crazy Horse Landfill. Crazy Horse Landfill was built in 1934 to serve the city of Salinas. And in 1997, Salinas Valley Recycles took over this facility and it began serving the greater northern Monterey County. Building a solar array on top of the closed Crazy Horse Landfill has always been a dream of our agency. The Closure Turf system has made that easy and simple. Uh, we chose Closure Turf for two reasons. One, because of the ease of installation, and two, because it will provide long-term savings for maintenance of the landfill over the course of the next 30 to 40 years. We included the carbon footprint in that decision. The cost of importing soil and the carbon footprint associated with that would have been significantly greater had we done it the conventional way. The water quality coming off this site is immaculate compared to conventional soil closure where you have a lot of sediment that also runs off of the site. The maintenance costs have been substantially lower than conventional closure. We don't have to mow, we don't have to clean out our drainage ditches because there's no sediment. It's been an amazing benefit to the long-term care of the site. We would absolutely choose Closure Turf again. It's been so easy to install and we're seeing significant cost savings over the long-term care and maintenance of our landfill. I'm fascinated by your history, how you came together. Greg, please explain the partnership between ISM Solar and Watershed Geo. Sure, I'd be glad to. Uh, ISM Solar has an exclusive arrangement with Watershed Geo. Through our joint venture, we're the only uh, developers who can build solar on top of the Watershed Geo closure sites. So that's any site around the world where they have already installed closure turf or they will be installing closure turf. By being the exclusive developer, we're able to ensure that uh, building standards are adhered to and that in no way is the cap or the landfill itself compromised. And Mike, can you please speak more to some of the environmental benefits from closure turf? Sure, for starters, there's a 75% reduction in carbon footprint just through the initial construction. You compare that with the fuel destroying land. Mm -hmm. For example, the, the uh, project we recently completed in Monterey County, California, we took 27,000 truck trips off the road, but also there's 15 acres that would have to be destroyed to dig up that dirt to haul it in. So that by itself has these secondary impacts just to close the landfill. So you're destroying more land, as I mentioned, to cover the original problem at hand. Water quality is a big driver for a lot of our customers who want to use our product. You have essentially a large filter. When rainwater hits it and runs off, you got clean water recharging the aquifer. In a lot of areas, in a lot of urban areas where there's landfills, the soil itself has this latent chemical contamination through agricultural farming or through some of our prior use. If that goes on top of the landfill, the runoff carries that contamination with it. Right. Where they found in Monterey and New York and other places around the country, you're recharging the aquifer of clean water. So you get a water quality issue. You get, of course, the long-term stability that I mentioned earlier with the product itself and the longevity. But you don't have to have other impacts. You don't have to destroy anything just to solve that initial problem. 
And what are the cost considerations for closure turf compared with a soil or vegetation solution? Uh, typically, if you're having to go off-site, which most sites do, mm -hmm. most landfill projects, they have to go off-site to get material, referred to as a borrow source, or borrow material, where you dig up, borrow material to close it. Right. If you're going off property, that becomes economically more expensive than our system. If you have on-site soil, it's about a wash, sometimes it can be a little bit cheaper to do it that way. However, if you look at the full cost accounting, the life cycle of the product, its longevity, and the annual maintenance, which is anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 per acre per year that you would have with a traditional system, that's where it becomes advantageous economically and by any measure. So, There's also a, a cost savings from a solar point of view. When we build a solar array on top of a landfill that has closure turf on it, mm -hmm. it's good to go. It's just like building on top of a football field. Right. Whereas with conventional systems, when the solar developer approaches and takes a look at that site, mm -hmm. it's not even, it has washouts and it mm -hmm. requires a lot of remedial activity just to get it to the point where it'll be right. flat and able to build on. And then it still is subject to having all the washouts so that that solar array has to be built in close, it, it can't be built to the edges, which means you can't build as big as you might like to. Right. And there's always risk uh, that the solar array could be impacted by the washouts with a conventional closure system. ISM Solar will install approximately 9,500 solar panels on the Crazy Horse top deck. This system will produce over 3 megawatts of power, which is enough energy to support over 750 homes in the Salinas Valley area. Crazy Horse Solar Array will be a ballasted system. We'll use concrete weights to hold the system in place, and the rack system will sit on top of the closure turf. That way we won't impact the landfill beneath it. The joint venture of ISM Solar and Watershed Geo offers the exclusive opportunity for solar development on top of closure turf sites. Solar turf is an innovative solution which provides compelling economic and environmental benefits. Paul O'Malley of Watershed Geo explains. Closure turf can play a significant role in support of the recent Clean Air Initiative announced by the Obama administration. Between closing the coal ash storage facilities as we start to transition our power base from cold and fossil fuels to renewable energies, as well as serving as an ideal platform to accelerate the growth of solar installations. To better understand how long the closure turf system will last, we took some real world data and extrapolated that out and found that the design life is well in excess of 200 years. Now, 200 years is a long time. To make that number more approachable for our clients, we speak in terms of, of half-lives. And the half-life of closure turf is well in excess of 100 years. And when we do have to replace the material, the only thing we have to replace is a turf layer, which happens to be 100% recyclable. What we're looking at is the closure turf closure system. It's an engineered closure system comprised of three components, a geomembrane, an engineered synthetic turf layer, and a sand infill that goes into the turf layer. The closure turf system meets all regulatory requirements. One of the benefits of the closure turf system are the aesthetics. To take full advantage of that, we've developed turf, everything from 100% green to 100% tan, as well as green and tan blends that will blend in most effectively with the surrounding area. To date, we've closed over 25 landfills with the closure turf system across the U.S. and Canada. But we're really just getting started. Over the coming years, we have well over 100,000 acres of landfills that need to be closed in this country. That includes traditional MSW landfills, industrial sites, brownfields, and even coal ash storage facilities. Partnering with ISM Solar was a no-brainer for Watershed Geo. We bring a tremendous amount of expertise in the area of geosynthetics and landfill closures, and ISM Solar brings that level of expertise in the area of solar development. Greg, what type of landfill are you currently targeting for solar development? Well, it really falls into a few different categories. First of all, we look to develop in states that have solar-friendly policies. Mm -hmm. uh, second, we look in areas where there's a high cost of power and there's not a lot of land readily available. So the Northeast Corridor, for example, is a perfect example. Right. We pay a lot of money for our electricity in the Northeast mm -hmm. and there's just not a lot of land. So it makes sense to, that, the, that, that we'll have the opportunity then to work on the landfills. The third area we look at uh, are places that have some special environmental significance. For example, we were recently asked to look at putting solar array on top of a brownfield in Nevada. 
And our first reaction to that was, why would someone want to do that when there's so much open space already in Nevada? Why not just build it next to the brownfield as opposed to putting it on top of it? Right. When we dug into it, what we realized is that those desert habitats are really extremely fragile. Mm -hmm. Nevada has a very aggressive, very progressive solar development goal that they've set out where they actually are running out of land, places to build the solar arrays. So our concept worked perfectly because we were able to help them to repurpose a brownfield as opposed to tearing up literally hundreds of acres of desert environment. All of that helps the natural habitats, water use management, uh, and all the, all the different animals that live in, in the desert areas that would otherwise be, be displaced. And Mike, in your opinion, why is closure turf a superior foundation for solar? Well, my experience uh, being an engineer, geotechnical engineer, dealing with mostly soil mechanics type issues, there's been a lot of failures. The landfills tend to be unstable, settle, wash out, erosion. This gets rid of that. So it creates a nice clean platform to build solar array. And what are the environmental groups saying about your solution? We're talking to uh, both regional and national stakeholders, mm -hmm. whether it be uh, environmental regulators, uh, land trusts, and the general uh, overall reaction that we're getting is that our solution is an example of best practices for long-term land planning. Well, it sounds like the partnership between your two companies has created a powerful ability to deliver innovative solar services and solutions. And thank you so much for thank joining you, us today. Thank, thank you, you, Greg. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. And for Worldwide Business, I'm Kathy Ireland. Thank you for watching.